Good morning. So now that I got my coffee, I'm ready to start the day. Let's taste how it came out. I used my new Ninja coffee bar. <clears throat> I'm obsessed with it. And I got these two little um, coffee canister and sugar bowl to go with it. Love it. So let's see how it came out. Oh, so good. I got the Dunkin' Coffee, I have almond milk, Splenda, and then I flavor it with some Hershey syrup to make it a mocha taste. So now, like I said, now that I have my coffee, I'm ready to start the day, and boy, do I have the DIY for you. I'm so excited, so let's get started. This DIY is something I saw on YouTube. Um, we have Koopy joining me, we have Arnie joining me, and Roxy joining me right over there. So I saw this on YouTube and I'm just gonna put my own little spin on it. It is a blinged out DIY um, Voss water bottle. So you get the glass Voss water bottle any size. Um, I chose black little um, jewels. You need E20, E6000 for the glue, because it bonds um, things to glass. Okay, first thing, what I'm going to do, I was looking for a razor blade, I can't find a razor blade, so this works just fine. Just get a sharp knife, be careful, and we're going to scrape off the lettering of the Voss. Just go like that, um, it comes off really easy, as you can see that S is just scraping away. Um, so I'm hey, Koopy. So I'm gonna just scrape away the whole word Voss and the whole label on the back. So it might take a few minutes to do this. Front's nice and clean. Now we're just gonna move on. Ooh, we're just gonna move on to the back. Okay, everything looks all clean. I'm just gonna go wash it in the sink real quickly. Our next step is to take a Sharpie or, I don't know, dry erase, permanent, any kind of marker, and do your design on the bottle, wherever you wanna do the blinged out um, gems. So I'm gonna, I wanted to write my full name, Ashley, but I got one of the smaller water, water bottles. They didn't have the real big ones at the store I went to. Um, so what I'm just gonna write is Ash, A-S-H, and that should fit. Perfect, so I'm gonna do Ash, bling it out, and then we're gonna bling out the cap as well. So that's gonna be really cute. So I'll show you after I get my letter placement on here. Um, I want it somewhat big. I wanted it all capitals. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good in the center and I like it just like that. I think it's really cute. First step, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna empty out my little gems on a plate, put some of this glue right here on the plate. Um, and then you could spread it on whatever you want, but I'm gonna take, I think this will work, like a bobby pin and spread it on the letter, like that. And then I'm going to, it's kind of messy, pick up um, a gem with my bobby pin or my tweezers and lay it on. And there's the first one. This is harder than I thought. So I got the A done. Um, it's this, this glue is like really messy, but um, it came out nice. Hopefully you don't see as much glue around the edges once it dries or hopefully it peels off. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm gonna keep working on the S and H. I 
I'm using an eyeliner pencil to pick up the stones. Um, my tweezer, it just wasn't working. So you can get a crayon, an eyeliner, anything with a waxy um, surface that if you just dab on it, it'll stick and hold it. It's a lot easier. And there we go. There's my name. Now we're gonna move on to the top. I'm probably gonna do big sections, like row by row, um, to get the top done. Okay, here I am so far. I've come to a little bit of a problem. Um, I did all this, the very edge, it's not big enough for one more row. I don't know if I should just leave it or make it hang off. But if I do another row and make it hang off, look, I have eyeliner all over me from the little, I mean, I gotta wash it when I'm done. Um, Cause every time I pick up a bead, it gets eyeliner on the top. So when I do it, it rolls all over my hand. So anyway, if I do it and make it hang off, those, I think those are gonna fall off easy and I don't really want them to fall off easy obviously but this is so cute I'm gonna do the top too um, but I haven't figured out yet what I want to do <coughs> hey stop barking so yeah this is progress so far I love it I think it's so cute I am all done this is my finished water bottle what I did I showed you earlier how I had a space around the whole top I have some um, nail art jewels they're white i wish they were black but they're actually they're clear so and they're really small so i put those oops i'm spilling them i put those all along the top um just so i didn't have any blank space because i didn't like what it looked like with blank space there's the puppies just hanging out sleeping but yeah that's the finished water bottle um this my glue says wait 24 hours to cure um maximum bond strength may not be reached up until 72 hours so i'll probably let it sit for a few days before i use it start unscrewing the top and um drinking out of it and stuff but yeah that's the finished water bottle i love how it came out um my next one maybe i'll get small black ones to put on the top so it can be all black and but it's cute I think it's really cute. And that's all for today. Bye.